Welcome to Boost Sale Training, and thank you for volunteering to support Girl Scouts in the cookie program. Did you know that 100% of the net proceeds raised by the Girl Scout cookie program, after paying for cookies and girl rewards, stays right here in Orange County to benefit local Girl Scouts? It's true. The Girl Scout cookie program makes it possible for Girl Scouts of Orange County to support and expand girl programs, volunteer training and facilities, and provide financial assistance that keeps Girl Scouting available and affordable to all. We are so excited that you will be helping your daughter and troop with their booth sale activities. Your efforts are greatly appreciated and allow us to grow and serve more girls. This training is required for all adults who will be supervising girls or money at either Girl Scout parent-daughter booth sales or troop booth sale. Whether you are an experienced Girl Scout leader who has done booth sales before or brand new to the cookie program, this training includes important information you'll need to know for this cookie season. There will be a brief quiz at the end of this training, and you're encouraged to take notes. Keep an eye out for the green star, which indicates an answer you may need for a quiz question. After you complete the quiz, you will receive an email with your quiz results. Please forward the email to your Troop Cookie Coordinator so they know this requirement has been met. Your Troop Cookie Coordinator can then assist you in signing up for boost sale shifts. If you have questions that this training does not answer, feel free to email us at customercare at girlscoutsoc.org with the subject boost sale question. You're also welcome to come back and view this training later. There are several resources on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms that you will want to refer to throughout this training. Under the Boost Sales section of resources and forms, you will find copies of our Boost Sale Guidelines, Boost Sale FAQs, Boost Sale Checklist, Boost Sale Tally Sheet, and more. Under the Safety and Online Marketing section, make sure you review the safety tips for product sales and the safety activity checkpoints. There is also important information on our Volunteer Essentials Resource Book, or VERB, that applies to product sales, including Chapter 4, SafetyWise, and Chapter 5, Managing Group Finances. This document can be found on our main website, girlscoutsoc.org, under Forms and Docs. Please pause this video now and download the documents you see listed on the screen from gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under Resources and Forms. We recommend creating a booth sale folder with a copy of each of the documents referenced on this screen. You do not need to have a copy of VERB in your booth sale folder, as we have condensed this information for you in the other resources. Take this folder with you to each booth sale as a handy reference tool. You will also want to bring copies of the booked booth sales and booth sale location reports your Troop Cookie Coordinator downloads from ABC Smart Cookies. So, what is a booth sale? A booth sale is considered any activity where Girl Scouts sell cookies in a public space. Whether they use a wagon, a table, or even a tote bag, booth sales are only permitted during the booth sale period, and Girl Scouts must have special permission from their service unit booth sale coordinator to be there. Most booth sales are cookie stands placed in front of a business or a street corner. Cookie stands in front of a personal OC residence are not considered booth sales. Only service unit booth sale coordinators may arrange for booth sale locations and assign troops. Booth sale coordinators secure the sites by working with the store and the property managers to ensure permission and insurance requirements are met. The booth sale period for the 2019 cookie program runs from February 15th to March 10th. Cookie booths for troop booth sales or parent-daughter booth sales are typically secured by your troop cookie coordinator either at your service unit booth sale lottery or online using ABC Smart Cookies. As your first step towards helping at booth sales, Girl Scouts requires all adults who will be supervising troop girls and or handling troop money to become official registered troop helpers. There are three steps you will need to complete. First, join Girl Scouts and register as a volunteer. Second, select your troop helper role and complete the required background screening. Third, complete this training. If you are planning to help with troop booth sales, you need to complete all three steps. If you are planning only to do parent-daughter booth sales, joining Girl Scouts and completing the background screening is optional. To register for Girl Scouts as a volunteer, visit girlscoutsoc.org slash volunteer. Once registered, log into MyGS from the link in the upper right corner of girlscoutsoc.org and select your volunteer role. If you need help, feel free to email us at customercare at girlscoutsoc.org with the subject line GSOC Troop Helper. As referenced earlier in this training, GSOC Girl Scouts may participate in troop booth sales or parent-daughter booth sales. Troop booth sales must have two registered adults who have passed the background screening. Parent-daughter booth sales consist of one legal adult guardian and their Girl Scout daughter or daughters. 
any participants beyond the one parent guardian and their Girl Scout daughter or daughters is a troop activity and must meet safety guidelines requiring two background screened adults. Girl Scouts of Orange County greatly appreciates the business and property owners who permit us to host booth sales at their locations. We ask all girls and adults to keep the Girl Scout promise and law in mind and be considerate of the merchant's property and customers. Booth sales are a privilege granted to us by local merchants and their property owners. If mistreated, even unintentionally, all Girl Scouts could lose the opportunity for booth sales at these locations. By reviewing the booth sale guidelines, troops, girls, and parents will have a better understanding of how to be careful and considerate while at booth sales. A printable copy of the booth sale guidelines can also be found at gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms. In this next section, we will discuss several important guidelines that would apply to all booth sales. All Girl Scouts should wear their full Girl Scout uniform at your booth sale. This will help your girls stand out as Girl Scouts, look professional, and ultimately sell more cookies. A Girl Scout uniform consists of a white shirt, khaki bottoms, a vest, sash or tunic, and Girl Scout pins. Girls may only sell Girl Scouts of Orange County cookies at their booths. Girl Scouts of Orange County cookies are produced by ABC Bakers. If booth sales are marketed by volunteers or families through social media platforms, they should always be advertised through accounts set to private, where only family and friends will see the location. All booth sale sites must be secured and scheduled through the Service Unit Cookie Booth Sale Coordinator. A permission slip is required for all Girl Scouts participating in booth sales. You will also want to have permits on hand if required by your city. Be at the booth sale location ready to set up at the reserved time. Print out, read, and bring copies of both the booked booth sales and booth sale location reports from your Troop Cookie Coordinator. Also print and bring copies of the booth sales FAQ available on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms and prep girls to answer the questions covered. Follow any store specific guidelines. You'll find these specific notes for each booth location in the booth sale location report. Ensure that both the girls and your table are not blocking shoppers who are going into or out of the store. If a dispute comes up at your booth sale, settle it politely and calmly in a Girl Scout manner. Do not involve the store manager. Contact your service unit booth sale coordinator immediately if there is a problem. Their contact information can be found on the booth sale reports you printed to bring along with you. Do not bring friends, non-Girl Scout siblings, or tag-alongs of any age to a booth sale. Only troop members and approved volunteers are permitted at the booth sale. Only accept cash from customers, and remember to bring change. Do not accept any bill larger than a 20. Use a counterfeit detection pen and light to protect your troop from counterfeit bills. You can find a video and additional resources to learn more about counterfeit bill detection under resources and forms under tools for selling on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies. Money should always be safeguarded by an adult. Don't forget, a Girl Scout always leaves an area better than she found it. Remove all boxes and trash before leaving a booth site and dispose of them at home. If you should need to cancel a booth sale, contact your Troop Cookie Coordinator at least 48 hours prior to the scheduled booth or the Monday prior for a shift that is advertised in Waze. So your reservation can be canceled in ABC Smart Cookies. This will open the time slot to other troops and the booth sale locator will not advertise an empty location to customers. For emergency cancellations after the deadlines, notify your Troop Cookie Coordinator immediately. There are also a few additional guidelines to keep in mind specifically for troop booth sales. Two adults who are registered and have passed the background screening are required to supervise girls and money. We recommend dividing booth sale times into shifts and adjusting shift length as needed to fit your girls' attention spans. Review store guidelines and adhere to them. Some stores only allow two girls to a door at a time. Adults must be at each door if girls are selling at multiple entrances. See the booth sale reports your Troop Cookie Coordinator provided for site-specific requirements. Turn in funds to your Troop Cookie Coordinator or make deposits into the Troop's bank account immediately after the booth sales to ensure that the money is safe. Divide the number of packages sold at the booth sale fairly among the girls participating so that every girl can reach her goals. Lastly, we will review the guidelines specifically for parent-daughter booth sales. Parent-daughter teams consist of one legal adult guardian and their Girl Scout daughter or daughters. 
any participants beyond the one parent guardian and their Girl Scout daughter or daughters is a troop activity and must meet safety guidelines requiring two background screened adults. Parent-daughter teams may run a booth sale for their troop provided it is reserved by their Troop Cookie Coordinator and ABC Smart Cookies. Allow for time between shifts for rest and meal breaks. Troop Cookie Coordinators and parents must determine in advance if the products being sold are girl additional sales where a family is responsible for all product taken or troop booth sale units where cookies can be returned to the troop. If it is determined that the cookies are troop booth sale units, then the parent attending the booth sale must be a background screen troop helper. Parent-daughter booth sales will be held at, to the same etiquette standards as troop booth sales. A printable version of these booth sale guidelines can be found at gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms. We recommend bringing these with you for reference during your booth sale shifts. To support your booth sales, Girl Scouts of Orange County is advertising specific booth sale sites in each service unit on Waze. Waze is a community-driven GPS navigation app, which is free to download and use. Here's how it works. When a customer using the Waze app is stopped, a zero-speed takeover ad will appear on their screen. If the customer is within a short distance of an advertised booth, our Girl Scout cookie ad will appear. Customers then have the option to push Drive There on the app to receive directions to your booth sale. Here are a few guidelines you need to know. At your booth sale lottery, your Troop Cookie Coordinator will let you know if the booth shift you've chosen is a Waze booth shift. Waze booths will be identified in ABC Smart Cookies. Your Troop Cookie Coordinator will provide you with two reports to read and to bring along with you. You are responsible for being at a Waze booth for the entire shift. If you run out of cookies before the shift ends, continue to sell Girl Scout cookie share. An additional option is to take orders to deliver later and or offer to send customers an online link to purchase cookies. It's a great idea to have someone on standby who can do a cupboard run and bring you more cookies if you run out during your shift. We don't want to advertise an empty booth. If you must cancel a Waze booth shift, contact your troop cookie coordinator by the Monday prior so another troop can sign up for the shift and we don't disappoint customers. If you need to cancel a Waze booth after the Monday prior, contact your troop cookie coordinator immediately so they can cancel in ABC Smart Cookies. These Waze booth guidelines are also located on page 22 of your troop plan book, which can be found on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms. Girl Scouts wants to maintain our good relationships with our local store and property managers. Following these guidelines and this training ensures that we can continue to have great relationships in the community and that both you and your Girl Scouts can have fun and stay safe. When these guidelines are broken, the consequences could consist of one or more of the following. Loss of girl rewards, loss of troop rewards, loss of future booth sales, or your troop not being able to participate in future booth sale lotteries. Now that you understand the guidelines, here are some best practices so your Girl Scouts booth sale can be the best ever. Review the booth sale checklist beforehand to make sure you have all the documents and supplies needed to be successful. You will want booth sale marketing supplies like cookie share receipts and a Girl Scout tablecloth, as well as important documents like your booth sale reports, site specifics, city permits, and money to make change. Create an awesome display. Engage your customers with cre a creative poster that showcases the products and pricing. Use a goal chart to share what the girls plan to do with their proceeds. Photos of troop activities are a great way to show off what the girls have accomplished so far and their plans for continuing to make the world a better place. Safeguard girls and the money. Never leave a girl alone at a booth. Always use a counterfeit detection device and never accept checks or anything larger than a $20 bill. Girl Scouts have permission to sell Girl Scout products not to solicit monetary donations. You should not have a donation jar on the table since it's both unsafe and in violation of our city permits. Instead, girls should sell cookie share, which benefits our local food banks and military. Let your girls shine. Booth sales where the girls are engaging, in uniform, polite, and answering questions always do better than those where the adults are taking on the majority of the work. Girl Scouts of Orange County and our vendors guarantee customer satisfaction with our products. If for some reason a customer is not satisfied with the quality of their products, please follow the guidelines in our Boost Sale FAQ to make an exchange or provide a refund. Boost Sale FAQs can be found on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms. Orange County Girl Scouts sell cookies produced by ABC Bakers. And Cookie Share, 
the calorie-free, tax-deductible cookie donation which benefits local service men and women and local food banks. In Orange County, all of our Girl Scout cookies retail for $5 per package. Prior to their boost sales, girls should print out cookie share receipts to provide customers at the time of purchase. Receipts can be downloaded from gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms. Cookie share is a great talking point for girls to share with their customers and a great opportunity to teach girls that their participation in our cookie program makes a big impact on their community. Be sure to have a cookie order card handy to record your cookie share sales for donation and to share nutrition information with customers. Girls can earn a patch for selling 15 or more packages of virtual cookie share. Girls may also use the ABC Smart Cookies app at booth sales. If a girl runs out of a cookie variety at the booth, the app allows girls to access their online order form. Booth sales also provide Girl Scouts with the opportunity to tell their Girl Scout story to the larger community. Have your Girl Scouts share what they love most about being a Girl Scout and what they plan to do with their cookie proceeds. Examples might include Girl Scout Bronze, Silver, or Gold Award projects, community service and take action projects, upcoming plans for troop travel, summer adventures at Girl Scouts, volunteer-led day camps, or Camp Sherman. If you meet a parent or girl who is interested in joining in on the fun, be sure to direct them to girlscoutsoc.org slash join. Because your Girl Scouts will be interacting with the public, they may also receive questions that have gained public attention in the media, such as Boy Scouts of America's recent decision to open its core program to girls. We have created the resource, What to Do If Someone Asks Your Girl Scout About Boy Scouts, to help your girl speak confidently about why Girl Scouts is the best place for her. Additional guidance on sensitive issues pertaining to Girl Scouts can be found in the 2019 Boost Cell FAQ. You can view both of these resources at gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms. And remember, girls are under no obligation to answer questions about sensitive topics or any question that makes them feel uncomfortable. Please direct community members with detailed questions about sensitive issues to contact Girl Scouts of Orange County at customer care at girlscoutsoc.org. In accordance with new regulations which took effect in August of 2018, we are required to print California's Proposition 65 warning on this year's cookie order cards and rewards flyers and display the warning at booth sales. The new regulations impact many California retailers, restaurants, and grocery stores. With few exceptions, the chemicals in food that appear on the Proposition 65 list are not intentionally added to food. Typically, any such chemicals are picked up from the soil in which the ingredients are grown or formed during cooking or other processes. You will see Proposition 65 warnings at restaurants, grocery stores, department stores, and on many items you order online. The purpose of Proposition 65 is to alert consumers to potential risk and enable them to make informed decisions regarding the products they consume. We are confident that customers will still want to enjoy Girl Scout cookies, a time-honored treat. If you do have customers ask about Prop 65 warnings, you can support your Girl Scout by advising her customer that the warning is in accordance with new California law. With few exceptions, the chemicals in food on the Proposition 65 list are not intentionally added. Rather, they are formed during the cooking, baking, or other processes. And that customers who want to learn more may go to p65warnings.ca.gov. As a parent or troop leader, you can advise her customers that they will see similar warnings in many restaurants and grocery stores, as the proposition applies to many common food and household items. Copies of the notice were sent to your service unit materials coordinator. Your troop cookie coordinator can provide you with a notice for your table. A printable version can also be found at gscookiesetc.org under resources and forms. You can find more information at the booth sales FAQ at gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms. Thank you so much for volunteering to help your daughter or troop with their booth sale activities and supporting girls in their entrepreneurial and leadership skills development. It's quiz time. This is an open book quiz, so feel free to refer to the resources referenced in this training. Please return to the article on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies announcing adult booth sale training and click the link for the quiz. After you complete the quiz, you will receive an email with your quiz results. Please forward the email to your Troop Cookie Coordinator so they know this requirement has been met. Your Troop Cookie Coordinator can then assist you with signing up for booth sale shifts. If you have any additional questions about booth sales or the cookie program, please email customercare at girlscoutsoc.org, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great booth sale.